Imagine waking up one day and realizing that you are in a job that doesn't align with your passions or your goals. That was me not too long ago. I was working in a tech company, but something was missing. I kept hearing about the incredible growth of the cloud industry and how it was changing the way that businesses are operating. I knew I had to be part of it, but there was a problem. I had zero experience in the cloud, zilch. Nada, absolutely no experience, but I didn't let that stop me. I set myself a challenge to become a cloud engineer in just three months using only the resources available online. And guess what? I did it. I went from being a complete cloud novice to landing multiple job offers as a cloud engineer. It wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. Now I know so many people will comment that this didn't happen. This is fake news, that you can't do this in such short amount of time. All of these people do is complain and cry that someone else was able to do it and their own mediocre mind and work ethic cannot comprehend the idea of applying yourself daily that you will see progress over time. To give you an idea of what my days looked like back then, I would wake up at 5 a.m. and do three hours of cloud engineering tutorials. I would then get up and go to work and do a full day in consulting for the tech company. And then when I got home, I would spend between 6 p.m. to midnight learning more cloud engineering topics. AWS and building projects while still finding the time to grow this YouTube channel. I did this consistently and I did this knowing I would get the results if I kept going. Most beginners, when they start, they already have this mental block that it's not possible. This already puts you in a disadvantage. I'm the living proof that it's possible. I went from learning about the cloud to working with Fortune 500 companies, small startups, and government organizations. I've architected, built, and implemented multi-million pound solutions on AWS that are resilient, scalable, and cost-effective. I've gone from working for a company to working for myself as an expert cloud consultant to now running my own specialized consulting business where we build automation for businesses across the UAE, Saudi, and the EU and help them generate more revenue and increase their productivity through AI, software, and cloud technologies whilst also launching and growing my own cloud education company, where we help aspiring cloud engineers around the world build real world cloud skills. Now through this progression, my income literally 10 x And this is the power of making a plan and sticking with it, but also working hard. Now all the normies give up after a few hours that it's too hard, when it's too difficult. But let me tell you something, it's meant to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And this is what separates the 1% to the 99%. Their mindset, their work ethic, and their efforts are completely different. The truth is, when I started as a 19-year-old in tech, I always knew that I would work for myself. And it was cloud engineering which changed everything for me. You see, I learn best by doing by building projects, by putting things into practice. I am a visual and practical learner. Being a cloud engineer exposed me to using different tools and technologies, which helped me learn and start building projects which drastically improved my skills, my knowledge, and my experience at an accelerated rate. Right now, you are in a key time of technology and cloud engineering. And with the rise of AI, every single company is investing in cloud computing and AI which means that the need for cloud engineers is growing exponentially. The cloud provides immense computing power, storage capacity, and scalability needed to train and deploy these complex AI models. With the cloud, AI can crunch massive amounts of data, and perform intricate calculations in real time. In fact, a Deloitte study found that 70% of companies get their AI capabilities through cloud-based software, and 65% create AI applications using cloud services. AI and the cloud are like peanut butter and jelly. They just work really well together. Well, depending on your taste. Now, I always tell my subscribers in my YouTube videos, in my newsletter, and the students inside my Cloud Engineer Academy to double down on cloud skills, as it's the platform that is key to AI. Now, fundamentally, at its simplest form, cloud engineers design, implement, and manage 
cloud systems. Cloud engineering has a lower barrier to entry compared to other tech jobs like software engineering. Cloud engineering offers job opportunities with less competition because of how new it fairly is and how early we still are in the transition to migrating into the cloud. In fact, as a cloud engineer, you will build the infrastructure that powers the future. Whether you're stuck in a job that doesn't fulfill you, or you're just starting out in your career and looking for a lucrative and exciting path, this video is for you. Cloud industry is only going to keep growing with an expected market size of 800 billion by 2025 and trillions in the coming decade. There's never been a better time to get in on the action. Okay, so how did I do it and how can you become a cloud engineer too? In this video, I'm going to literally give you a crash course on cloud engineering and break down the fundamentals, the tools and technologies for you. I'm giving you all the notes that I took when I learned cloud engineering. It's a complete step-by-step -step roadmap to becoming a cloud engineer. And if your dopamine addicted mind cannot pay attention for the duration of this video, then this pathway of working for the best companies and having locational freedom isn't for you. All right, so let's get down to business and learn about cloud fundamentals. First things first, if you want to become a cloud engineer with no experience, you need to lay a solid foundation by understanding the basics of cloud computing. This is a non-negotiable. You might be tempted to skip this step and jump straight into doing certifications or learning AWS, but trust me, without a clear grasp of these fundamentals, you'll be building your skills on shaky grounds. To really understand the cloud, you need to look at it from both a technical and business perspective. Ask yourself these questions. What exactly is the cloud? Why is it such a big deal? What makes businesses want to migrate to the cloud? What are the pros and what are the cons? I know these questions might seem a little bit daunting when you're getting started, especially if you're new to this world of cloud computing, but don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to break it down for you in simple terms. So you don't have to spend hours looking around the internet for the answers. At its core, the cloud refers to computing resources, things like storage, servers, analytics, and AI that you can access via the internet. Instead of companies having to manage their own physical servers or run software on their own machines, they can simply rent the computing resources that they need from cloud providers like AWS. Now, the beauty of cloud computing lies in its scalability. Businesses can easily scale their computing resources up or down based on their needs without having to invest in expensive hardware. This means that they can be more agile, responding quickly to changes in their application demands. By moving to the cloud, companies can significantly reduce the cost and complexity of managing and maintaining their IT systems. They can deploy new applications faster, scale resources as needed, and innovate at a pace that simply wasn't possible with the traditional infrastructure in data centers. Okay, so you have an idea of what the role of the cloud is, but to become a cloud engineer, you need to understand the core components of the cloud, networking, operating system, virtualization, databases, and security. Networking is like the roads that connect cities, allowing data to travel between computers and devices. Operating systems are the managers that keep everything running smoothly, allocating resources and ensuring applications work together. Virtualization is like dividing a large room into smaller spaces, each serving a different purpose. And in the cloud, it allows a single server to be split into multiple virtual servers, each acting as a separate computer. Databases are like the libraries for storing and organizing data. In the cloud, these databases are accessible over the internet, making data management more flexible and more scalable. Security is the guard that protects your data and systems from unauthorized access and threats. Cloud security involves protecting data privacy, ensuring compliance, and implementing robust access controls and encryption. Now, as a cloud engineer, you'll need to choose the right operating systems, configure virtual machines, manage databases, and implementing strong security measures to keep everything safe and running smoothly. You'll also be speaking to clients to gather their requirements and working to design solutions to solve their problems. 
as a cloud engineer, understanding cloud architecture is like having a blueprint for building a robust and efficient cloud solution. Just as a well-designed house has a solid foundation, interconnected rooms, and backup systems, a well-architected cloud has key components that ensures its reliability, performance, and resilience. When starting out, focus on these essential architecture concepts, high availability, scalability, fault tolerance, and disaster recovery. High availability ensures that your cloud solution stays up and running, even if some component fails. It's like having multiple entrances to a building so if one gets blocked, people can still get in. Scalability means you design your cloud to easily grow and handle the increasing demands. Just like a flexible house layout that allows for easy expansion as your family grows so you can basically extend your house into the garden. Fault tolerance is to build your cloud to withstand failures, similar to having a backup generator in your house to keep the lights on during any power outage. Disaster recovery means you need to have a plan to quickly get your cloud back up and running after a major incident. Now, by mastering these architectural principles, you'll be able to design cloud solutions that are resilient, adaptable, and can handle whatever challenges comes their way. Now, one of the most important decisions that you'll make is choosing a cloud platform to learn and specialize in. While there are several options out there, the three giants in this area are AWS, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. Each has its own strengths and unique features, but here is a pro tip from myself. Go with the one that offers the most job opportunities in your region. For many aspiring cloud engineers, that is AWS, as they are the biggest and the one that's been around the longest. Now I know what you are thinking. Learning a cloud platform can be expensive, right? Well, I think you are wrong. All three of these platforms offer free tiers or credits, giving you the perfect opportunity to get hands-on experience without breaking the bank. So once you've settled on a platform, it's time to get familiar with its core services. Let's take AWS as an example. You'll want to know about EC2 for virtual servers, IAM for security, VPC for networking, RDS for databases, Route 53 for DNS, and Lambda for serverless computing. These are just a few core ones that I think you should really master and then expand into other services. But don't just memorize the names. Understand what each service does and how it fits into the bigger picture. Is it a compute service, storage, database, security, networking? By categorizing the services in your mind, you'll start to understand and learn how they interconnect and work together to build powerful cloud solutions. Remember, the key here is focus. Don't try and learn everything at once or spread yourself thin across multiple platforms. Pick one, dive in deep and become an expert. That's how you'll stand out in a job market and make a real impact as a cloud engineer. You'll be shocked by how many people cannot understand and explain the simple concepts of these core services. Okay, so let's talk about cloud certifications. I have mixed feelings on cloud certifications, but they demonstrate to potential employers that you have the theoretical knowledge to design, deploy, and manage cloud solutions. When you're just starting out, earning a certification can give you a significant boost in credibility and help you stand out in the job market. For example, if you have no experience and you're against a candidate with also no experience, but they have a certification, then it's very likely that they will be picked over you. If you've chosen AWS as your cloud platform, I highly recommend starting with the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. This entry-level certification tests your overall understanding of AWS Cloud, including its core services, security, pricing, and support models. It's a great way to build a solid foundation before moving on to more advanced certification. After the Cloud Practitioner, the natural next step is the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate Exam. This certification focuses on designing and deploying scalable, highly available, and fault-tolerant systems on AWS. It covers a wide range of AWS services and how they can be used to work together to create cloud solutions. 
And here is another pro tip for myself. AWS offers 50% discounts on your next exam if you've passed a cloud practitioner exam first. This discount applies to any associate level exam, including the Solution Architect Associate. Now, in my case, I started with the cloud practitioner exam and passed it within a week. And then I moved on to the Solution Architect Associate. And after that, I also ended up taking my Solution Architect Professional AWS certification, which of course validates advanced skills in designing and deploying complex cloud architectures on AWS. All right, let's talk about the importance of hands-on practice when learning to become a cloud engineer. It's not just enough to read about cloud concepts or watch tutorials. You need to get your hands dirty and start building projects as soon as possible. And here's the thing, the best way to learn is by doing. When you actively engage in creating something, you are forced to think critically, solve problems, and apply the concepts that you've learned in a practical way to a project. This is how I learned best, by putting things together, by breaking them apart, and by figuring out how to make them work. But before you start building cloud projects, there's one non-negotiable skill that you need to start learning, a coding foundation. In today's world, being able to write code is essential for any cloud engineer. Now you don't need to be a programming wizard, but you should have a solid understanding of at least one programming language like Python or JavaScript. And once you have the foundation, it's time to dive into cloud tools. Focus on learning Terraform, which lets you define and manage infrastructure's code. This is a game changer for cloud engineers as it allows you to create reproducible, scalable infrastructure across multiple cloud platforms. Next, you need to master GitHub Actions for CICD. This tool automates your software development workflows and making it easy to build, test, and deploy your applications to the cloud. It's a must have for any cloud engineer working with CICD pipelines. And of course, don't forget to learn specific tools for your chosen cloud platform. If you're working with AWS, for example, you want to know how to use the AWS CLI to interact and manage services from the command line. But here is the key. As you start learning these tools, start building projects immediately. Don't wait until you feel like you've learned and mastered everything. Start by applying your knowledge right away. Build a simple web application and deploy it using Terraform. Create a CI CD pipeline with GitHub Actions. Experiment with different cloud services and see how they work together. The best cloud engineers are builders. They build projects. They learn the theory and then they build. The more projects you build, the more you will learn. You'll encounter challenges, make mistakes, and then you need to figure out how to fix them. This problem solving experience is what will make you valuable as a cloud engineer. And don't forget to document your projects. Create clear, concise documentation that explains what you've built and how you've built it and why you've made certain decisions. This not only helps you solidify your own understanding, but also demonstrates your skills to potential employers. If you want a structured path to follow, check out my Cloud Engineer Academy. It's designed to fast track your journey to becoming a cloud engineer with hands-on projects and practical guidance, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching and live workshops with me. But whether you choose that route or follow your own path, remember, the key is to learn by doing. Build, break, and keep building. That's how you'll become a successful cloud engineer, even with no prior experience. And there you have it, a complete roadmap to become a cloud engineer with no experience. I did it and you can do it too. This is the best opportunity in tech right now. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.